we can't really tell them where to fly and where not to go. It's found that they're pretty resilient with temperature. Both on the ground and in Ontario waterways, it was the summer of the invasive species, or at least that's what the Invasive Species Center is calling it. Over the past few months, we've been warned about the spotted lantern fly that has fruit and grape growers on edge, but that's one of three invasive species finding pathways into southern Ontario. The Helmlock woolly adelgid is another gaining ground. It almost looks like a little sesame seed on the twig, so um, what you'll actually be more likely to see when you're out and about is their egg masses. Um, and these are these white woolly sacks at the base of the needles. She says the aphid-like insect has actually been in North America since the 1950s, arriving from Japan on infested nursery stock imported to Virginia. Since then, gradually spreading and arriving in southern Ontario in 2012. Over the summer, it was detected in four new locations, including Hamilton. They feed on the tree's nutrient-rich fluids, and so it can kill trees within 4 to 15 years. Uh, th that sounds like a nice, generous window of time, but it's part of the problem that you, you might not know for a very long time that you have a problem. Yeah, it can be really hard to, to tell, and the insect itself, like I was saying earlier, they're really small, and sometimes like it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. The only other province in Canada it's been found is Nova Scotia, but specialists warn the bug is also easily carried by wildlife. Um, so the movement of birds is particularly concerning just because it's a little more unpredictable. The egg masses can stick to their feathers, kind of like Velcro. Meanwhile, the other invasive species spotted nearby isn't an insect at all. In early August, the first marbled crayfish was found in a stormwater pond near Burlington by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry, the first find of its kind in Canada. The crayfish, thought to have originated in the German pet trade industry in the mid-90s. Since then, the species has been released and is established in nine European countries, as well as Madagascar and Japan. It was first sold in North America in 2004 and may be able to survive the harsh Canadian winters. This was just strictly for um, aquarium use. People liked how they looked and they wanted them in their aquariums. It's supposed to stay in an aquarium. How did it get into the water? Human reasons. So they were becoming so big that they would outgrow aquariums and people would either put them into um, natural waterways or home water ponds, not realizing their cloning abilities. She explains the species is made up of all females and reproduces through cloning, laying many genetically identical eggs that grow fast without fertilization, easily outcompeting native species for resources. That's what makes them um, so invasive and such a threat. Now, the marbled crayfish is illegal in Canada, but if it was to establish in our waterways, there might not be much we can do to stop it. As for the Helmlock woolly adelgid, removing infestive plants or insecticide treatments are recommended. For City News, I'm David Zura.